nursing is actually a very very interesting profession and when you're working in the hospital you derive a lot of joy from helping people like nursing people back to health but there are some crazy aspects of nursing that we don't really come to talk about and this aspect of nursing can be emotionally draining so this is me giving you guys a heads up about things that you should expect to experience during your nursing career hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time hi my name is Busari Moleayo and I'm a registered nurse on this channel I film content about nursing and healthcare and in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys the not so attractive or not so funny aspects of nursing that you should prepare your mind for after you graduate or once you um, proceed to the clinical settings so the first thing I am going to talk about is getting used to seeing people in pain now the hospital has um you definitely while you're working as a nurse you will be coming in contact with different kinds of patients with different um with various types of infections diseases or things or illnesses that you're suffering from and at one point or the other these people are also are either going to be in physical or psychological pain and when you're trying to communicate with them this may sometimes project their pain to you do you get you may not have done anything wrong but the fact that the patient is in that state they are not happy a tiny thing that you may do may just upset them and they start yelling at you saying um unkind things at you you should be prepared for this and you should be mature enough to know what to say and what to do in this kind of situations you are not supposed to fight with your patient you can correct you can be assertive with whatever you want to say but you're not supposed to insult your patient the highest you can do is to report to a senior nurse or a superior officer and let them know what is going on and they will take it up from there so get used to see people in pain and then projecting that pain to you number two watching people die this is one aspect of nursing that can be emotionally draining that's if you have experienced this you would you would you would be able to relate you get when you like talk to a patient like five minutes ago you were talking to a patient you were encouraging the patients you turn your back probably to go document and once in your back and the patient is no longer breathing that can affect you emotionally like it's going to be like film trick that's just the best way i can explain it you, you're going to keep wondering wait wasn't i just talking to this person at that point you you may even start blaming yourself what was i supposed to do that i didn't do did i do anything wrong did i serve the wrong medication did i position the patient wrongly did i say what i was not supposed to say what exactly did i do and it may not even be your fault so that aspect of nursing people don't really talk about it and it is emotionally draining so if you're you're getting admission into nursing school you're a nursing student you're, you're, you're about to graduate prepare your mind for this particular thing you may have to watch either watch people die or um have this emotional what i put it this emotional backlash when you hear that a patient you attended to has died or has passed on that is number two number three assaults people don't talk about this thing enough forget about the fact that nurses or uh, medical practitioners are highly respected people in this society when you get to the hospital people may assault you be always be on guard now take for example an emergency situation yeah you are at the a and e department of your hospital and they're rushing like five rta patients bleeding profusely now what the people uh, those people that are bringing them to the hospital the expectation is that you're going to attend to them immediately like start touching them start checking but what if number one there are no gloves on ground are you going to touch blood with your bare hands now if you're trying to tell them there are no gloves i can't touch this particular patient they're going to think you're crazy or you're because of they're going to tell you because of mere glove you don't want to touch somebody that is dying no no that you're actually trying to protect yourself and then because while you're touching the the blood with your bare hands obviously to get infected and you could also touch them that are bring those people that are actually like the let's say let's say the good samaritans that actually brought them to the hospital and you could also infect them but because they are angry because everybody is tense no they are all angry they are you know the whole the whole situation is just chaotic you get they just made, they may decide to flip and start beating like anybody like this this has cases that have happened time after time like they start beating everybody they see on lab coats or on 
scrubs or uniform they burn your sister like especially if it is like um if the people involved are students like they will beat and batter anybody that they come across and you have to be prepared for things like this know how to um manage crisis and when you want to talk to people you have to be calm as possible like know how best to explain to people even though some people may not listen so ask also something that you should prepare your mind for and don't i don't pray that you would experience it but know what to do if something like that occurs number four one annoying side of nursing that people don't talk about is the high expectation placed on you by your friends and family members now this isn't um, a sad aspect of nursing but it can be emotionally draining when you're you're just in year two of nursing school or you're in 200 level you're, three level. you're not even you're not, you're not even a graduate yet and everybody in your family is expecting you to become an all-knowing healthcare professional if they have a headache, they'll call you if they have a um, pile they call you if they have some pain they'll call you and they expect you to know what what is wrong with them rather when they're just on the phone like they'll call you i'm having headaches since yesterday what should i use that headache could be as a result of so many things but just because they know that you're in school you're studying nursing or you're studying any medical course they expect you to automatically know everything be able to do the test diagnose prescribe on the phone <laughs> prepare your mind for that because it can be draining like it can be frustrating it and it's not going only going to come for your family members even your classmates Imagine you're a nursing student in your room and somebody just wakes you up and start asking how oh, help me to calculate my uh, my period cycle. Help me to, uh, how do I know if I'm pregnant? Oh, I don't know if uh, I've not seen my period yet. Am I pregnant? Am I this? Am I that? They start frustrating you with different questions that you may not even have. You're not, you, you may not uh, even like you may not even gotten to the level where you'd be taught that. Imagine asking a, a hundred level students in university that is a nursing student to help you calculate your safe period. When the person has not even started anatomy and physiology, yes, the person may have a good a, a, a background knowledge of that, but when it comes to like going deep into explaining everything, the person may not be able to do it. But because you expect that, eh, then you start hearing things that are you are you not a nursing student? Are you not supposed to know it? Are you not and people start putting some unrealistic expectations on you? So if you're a nursing student or you're about to enter nursing school, prepare for that. Now, just before I move to the last point in this video, if you're enjoying this video click on the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to my channel tap on the bell icon so you get a notification whenever i drop another amazing video and let's get to the last point so the last thing that i'm going to be talking about which is the crazy aspect of nursing or being a medical student that people don't actually like put into limelight is the fact that it is going to affect your social life no matter how you want to. like there is no way you're going to be a medical student or a nursing student Okay, let me just be specific about nursing because I studied nursing science. But there's no way you're going to be a nursing student that it is not going to affect your social lifestyle. Like how you relate with people or how you socialize. Because number one, you're always on guard. Everybody's hugging. But when everybody's hugging, you're, you're already thinking, what if this person has hepatitis? What if this person has COVID? What if this person has um, a communicable disease? Am I supposed to touch this person's face? Am I supposed to hug this person? Am I supposed to shake? Paranoia <laughs> comes to being a nursing student. Believe me, everybody's going to the market. They are picking up with you. You are looking for water to wash because you're saying, "Oh, I don't know how many people have touched this thing. I don't know if it is infected. I don't know if it is clean. I don't know if it is this." I don't know if it's... Paranoia comes with being a nursing student. That is one. Number two, the way you dress is going to be affected because probably when you're in school your department does not allow certain hairstyles certain clothes you just realize that when you're going for let's say you're going for an outing or you're going for a party while your your friends would have like proper party clothes you realize that what you have are uniforms and corporate wears <laughs> yes it happens that way you will just all of a sudden you just realize that what you have are crocs sneakers flats that are appropriate for clinical setting and class you may not even have use and like you know trendy shoes and trendy clothes it's not your fault it's just because majority of the time you're thinking about schooling and clinical settings like clinical posting you don't really have that time to like it's not as if you don't you're you're you don't exactly have the time to do it just that it's limited do you get and there are certain things you won't want to do like you may have a party on saturday and you have like an, an impromptu class on sunday so if everybody going to the party is going to be fixing artificial nails you know that it is either you fix that nail on that saturday and remove it that saturday <laughs> or you don't even do it at all sometimes it will definitely affect 
how you socialize so if you enjoyed watching this video um give it a like do you guys and if you want to see more of my videos where i talk about things about nursing click on this playlist that is going to pop up on your screen right now don't forget to follow all my socials and i'll see you in the next video bye